everybody! Hello, allergens! Welcome to Allergies Bite! But it tastes good. Uh, like we said, we're gonna promise you one video a week. And yep. this is week three. We're doing it! Yeah. <laughs> it's different every week. First week we did bread, then we did pizza. And okay. today we're doing a lemon, no, sorry, a lime fat bomb. Put the lime in the coconut. Yeah. When um, I used to eat keto, this was my favorite fat bomb. Yeah. And I haven't had it since then. <laughs> <laughs> I've made it a couple of times, made a few, or a few times actually, but I haven't done it for a while. So we're going to do it together today. Awesome. <laughs> so Yee. come on in and let's get this lime bomb party started. Started. Lumbum? Lumbarm. Barm? 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 <laughs> Come on in. Okay, <clears throat> so for the first ingredient, we're going to use this uh, organic coconut cream. It's unsweetened. And I like this stuff. This one is 200 grams. But I soak it in ta tap hot water so that it melts. And then just dry it off because uh, it's so hard sometimes. Yeah. You're gonna either end up with lumps, or you're or gonna bumps? end, or you're gonna end up lumps and bumps with it not mixing in very well. So we'll take this off of here for now. So cut this baby open. It's a baby. <laughs> what? Okay, here we go. Let's get me out. So I find the easiest way to clean this up is if you open it up like a book. Can you see here? You just cut the sides open. Okay. done. And then we need quarter cup of coconut oil. Okay. Because what's a fat bomb without coconut oil? Not a fat bomb. I don't know. Ba. 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 Okay. One teaspoon lime extract. Okay, fake. Pure lime extract. Okay. Ooh, I can smell that. And uh, the recipe that I have on the recipe that I have on the uh, allergies bite face group page is macadamia nut butter, but I don't have any macadamians. I've got Brazil nuts, so I'm going to use that. The carb count is, uh, I believe, better for Brazil nuts than macadamians. I can't remember. But it's two tablespoons of Brazil nut or macadamia. Or if all this is, is chopped up Brazil nuts. There's okay. nothing added to it at all. Ah. Or if you want to, you know, use the nut butter that you have at home. You so can any nut that. butter will work? Yeah. Different tastes with different nut butters. Okay. And then we put it in the food processor. Drink it all up, put the lime Is that the gonna be all nut. day? Well, when you realize that's what you did. 
Oh, you add the coconut in there and the coconut oil and then you put the lime in the coconut. Help me. Someone <laughs> help me. <laughs> yeah. And you mix the dough up. Okay, that's done. Soon it'll be over. Drink it all down. Ew! You know what that would do to me? <laughs> okay, so we're gonna pour this to the bowl. That looks good. Oh, nut butter and oil. Oil are good. Nut butter and chocolate is good. Yeah, that's true, because then you got like Reese's peanut butter cups. Yep. Or your triple chocolates. Mm, that too. Okay, so from here we're gonna. It's cleaned out good enough. Okay. And we're gonna put this one aside. And now we're gonna do level two. So you can either pour that into a 7x7 seven seven or an 8x8 eight eight, uh, square parchment paper covered pan, or you can put it into bigger muffin cups, like the big ones. You can pour like a tablespoon in each. We're going to do it a little bit different today. Uh, so the first thing we need... We're going off script! Yeah. We've never had a script! A cup and a half. <laughs> Cup and a half of dried unsweetened coconut. Oops, I think I just shot that down through the middle. Yep. And then mix it all up. Okay. And then we need two thirds of a cup of coconut oil. Oh, I'm going to be listening to this all day. Next time I'm picking something that doesn't have a song related to it. I'll still find a song. Yeah, I'm sure you will. Okay. Um, I'm going to use about an eighth of a teaspoon of Redmond sea salt. Okay. That's optional. I have a question. One teaspoon <laughs> vanilla. <laughs> yes, am I listening to you? I'm not sure. Will it cure my belly ache? Oh, brother. <laughs> Oh, help me. Okay, so one teaspoon vanilla. One third of a cup. This video is just pure joy to of me. One third of a cup of Brazil nut butter. This is the same nut butter I used on the top part. So it's just crushed Brazil nuts. Okay. Okay, so we got all that in here. We're going to put it on processor and let her give her. Okay, so then we have oh, stuck to the ground. We'd we'll have to find a plug it I guess. Yep. Okay, so now we've got our second one. This is the thicker one. I forgot to put, um, I've got one, am I in the wrong place? Okay. There. I have one lime that I've grated finely. I'm going to use finally about or fine, three, finally. Okay, three finally. quarters of it in there. Fine grated? Yes. And just stir that in, because I forgot to do that. And you mix it all up. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. There, so that looks good. Gotta get the real lime. And then we'll clean this off. So you've got a thinner one and a thicker. Thicker one and a thinner one? Yeah. Through thick and thin? And then it's going to make one. So if you wish, you can put one teaspoon of monk fruit in the second one, in the thicker one. We haven't put any in. 
I don't think it really needs it, but depending on your sweetness, sweet level, right? Okay. Okay. So then pour your your uh, liquidy one into your heavy one. Into your heavy one. And okay. now you can pour it in as like mix it together. Ooh, you blend it? Yeah. But just lightly, not overly. Mix it all together. Let's mix it up some. Okay, that's about it. I don't want to over mix it because I want okay. it two separate. Like, I don't want them totally combined combined together. So it's through thick and thin. Yes. Okay, can, and then just spoon. Okay, I am in the right place. And then just spoon into small cups. Cups, or you can uh, spoon them into big ones, or you can pour it all into a parchment paper lined square pan. Okay. And then you have to cut them. So I'm going to finish Muffin this. Muffin tins work too, eh? Pardon me? Muffin tins? Yeah, like the the bigger the ones. bigger ones. Okay. So I'm going to finish this off and then we'll see you right away. Okay, so I put uh, most of the lime there. I put most of the lime into the mixture. You don't ha you can put all of it in if you want or if every second one you just want to put a little dab on top. Okay. So some of them will have as a little bit more of a texture to it, eh? Yeah. And then and you color. can yeah, and then you can mix them, like have, when you put them on your plate or whatever, if you're serving them or whatever, you can put one with and one without. So you can do it that way, or if you want to just throw it all in, you can just throw it all in to your mixture. So, and it makes it fairly fast. I'm in the way, right? Yeah. <laughs> it makes it fairly fast to do. They're really tasty. Like I said before, if you want the sweetener, you can have the sweetener one teaspoon in the second in the second recipe but you don't have to so i hope you enjoy this allergy bite video and we'll see you awesome. next week bye, bye.